Cuvoy by Neil Drabble. It measures nine and three quarters by just over 11 inches. 132 pages, hardback. It's lovely quality, classic, beautiful quality MacBook. It was published by MacBooks in 2019. Neil Drabble is a British-born photographer. This is about Roy, somebody who Neil acquainted through his father while his father was in England and his father invited him and his wife over to stay in New England. And on going there, Neil meets Roy and the journey began really and I think it was a progression over eight years. It's, it's a story of childhood to adulthood. It's a, it's a passage of time. I think you can learn a lot with this book. It says so many different things. It asks so many questions as well. Let's have a little look through it. So what you'll see is that all the pictures almost are on the right-hand side. There, are the, uh, there is the exception. It does break off into one on each, each page. But generally, they all fall to the right. So it makes it a little easier for me and what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it down. Throughout the book, there's some text, an essay, and some intermittent bits by a novelist called Lynn Tillman. She's a, a cult novelist, an experimental cultural novelist, I think that's what they call them, or a critic. She writes an essay in, within this at the end on a sort of history of childhood, really. It sort of goes back right through to what being a child was about to sort of the 50s and 60s America and then some sort of facts around UNESCO and stuff like that. But throughout it, there's little bits of dialogue, which some of it seems like it's automatic writing, and I don't know if anybody knows what it is. It just seems like it's off the cuff. It was dictated or written in a, in a, in a way which somewhat makes sense, but it doesn't make sense. It's, it's, it's interesting. Make of it what you will, buy the book, get out and have a look and then you will see for yourself. I love it, I actually really love this, and I think it's a, it's a book of portraits, it's a book of a young guy's passage through being a child, early teens, right through to, right through to turning into a man. And you can see the transition. Now, that, what, one of the things I love about this book is when you think about the whole concept of this, like Neil photographing this, young guy, what interests Neil about this young guy? And it's just, initially I just was sort of questioning certain things in it and I'm wondering, why was he fascinated by this guy? And it's interesting and I can see the fascination in it. And I think Neil's obviously saw something in this young guy and he just felt a, a sort of passion or he felt obligated to take a chance and just document the character of this young kid. And also, maybe it's just as a reflection of documenting a transition period which he'd gone through as a young teenager right through to adulthood. And something like this is normally a feat. Obviously, Neil had to go back and forwards from England to America to do it, but it just... Some of it reminds me a little bit of Eggleston as well, that looking at the normality of things for what they are and turn them into something phenomenal and something you actually want to focus on which we might miss. It, it's, it's interesting. and I think we miss youth. I think we've all been through it, or we're all going through it, or we're about to go through it, but it's something we sort of can't get quite, a, can't quite get our head around. And, and, and what this book does, and what I've read about it, it's, it's not looking at the, the classic family photograph of how people are at certain times when they go to their auntie's wedding or they go to a funeral or they have a birthday party. It's a documentation of space, documentation of change, and they're quite solitary, these pictures as well. And you can see the transformation. And it's just really interesting, the whole concept of it. And let's put it down. It's a really difficult thing to do, I think, something like this to be consistent to the cover the mileage to shoot something like this but this it, it, it's quite 
it's, it just really feels like sort of very old-fashioned America Stephen Shaw or, or something like an Eggleston or something. It's lovely, you know, I, I, I really like it. And Neil's made it look really easy. And the attention to detail and being able to capture elements of in-between time with this guy is, is fantastic. And there's also, you know, what I was saying about that interest in wanting to photograph a young guy and why. And it's purely, purely, purely down to just the inquisitive nature of another human being wanting to find out about another human being. A sort of collaboration of trust together because there's no way Neil couldn't have, could have done this without the trust of everybody. So I've seen some comments on this to say that it feels like it's a collaboration of a celebration of childhood. I, I'm not sure it is. I, I think it's a celebration of different things. I don't know necessarily believe it's a celebration of childhood. I just think it's a celebration of great photography. It's a celebration of great collaboration. It's a celebration of trust between two people. There are some pictures, I guess, are posed, but, and, and I guess Roy's playing to the camera on some of these. Like these, for example. But I think Neil's done it in a lovely, innocent, almost out-of-the-way America feel to it. I, I, I don't know if that makes sense. And I think also with these pictures, we're not trying to see... I'll put this down a little bit more. I don't think it's about the individual pictures even though the individual pictures are pretty terrific in, in capturing the essence of where that, or where Roy is at his time of his life. But it's not saying too much about, there's not many influences, and there's not, it's not saying too much about what's influencing him. It's just that moment in time. I, I hope that resonates a little bit. I, I think it's about the whole thing rather than just individual snapshots of Roy, because I think you need to look through the pictures once and get a feel of the the time frame within the beginning and the end. So when you, you start at that beginning with the sort of young, more sort of innocent and, yeah, playing up to the camera a little bit, but when you, then you go to this. And this is done over eight years. But there's a lovely informality about it. There's a bit of fun with it. It's fun. He's, he's challenging the portrait concept. He's not... I've seen this sort of time-lapse done before where people just photograph the faces and stuff like that and they show a sort of period of time. And that, that's nice, that's interesting. But Neil uses the frame so well. And all the pictures are shot on a Fuji 6.9 with a fixed lens with Portrait NC, so it's all shot on film. And I think that the Portrait gives it that old, authentic 70s, 80s feel to it as well. It's sort of timeless in a way. It feels like it's really past in history. But it's quite contemporary. And it is, I, I think also there's a bit of that family snapshot, candid shot feel to it and almost as though they were just taken really quickly and snapped. Some of them maybe they were. It's almost like a theatre. They're, they're like... They're, they feel a bit staged, but I think there's a lot of hard work into getting into these scenarios. And you've got this one here in the wood. And they're, they're, they're superb. So there is that sort of family albumness to it, but there's... It, it almost lacks anybody else it's just about Roy, the surroundings, and where he is at that particular time. There's no real influence to say how he's thinking. Obviously, there is there, because you've got his bedroom and the, the, the where he is and his little belly. And, and it's quite an intriguing insight. It's, it's very theatrical, I think. And there must have been something about Roy which intrigued 
Neil to keep doing this. And it doesn't really give you that insight. Here's Lynn Tillman again. And, and I think this says self-narration or wilderness of origin myths. And this all feels a bit automatic. It feels like it's just written down, really sort of like repertage and it, it's none of it's linking, but it, it all means something for that p particular time when she was doing it. There's definitely a lovely photo book feel to this, like a photo album feel, and you could just the way the pictures are. MacBooks are just amazing quality. They, they, they really are. And there's a... I presume that's his dad. There's an interesting quietness about it all. And I think for somebody thinking about focusing on somebody's life over a period of time, this is a really good example of you don't just have to cram everything in. This is a consistent art of portraiture, you know, there's so many different techniques used in this, different choreography with, with Roy, but there's a, it's not saying too much about where he fits in a particular time, as I keep saying, it's, it is in a specific time, but there's not, there's not a lot of outside influence. And there's a coming together of the parents every now and then, and you can see now he's changing. You can see the change in him now. So I don't know, there's no time frame on this. I'm missing some pictures out on the left. I'd be interested to see what Roy thinks about this in 10, 15, 20 years, or when he shows his kids, and what sense he will make of this period then as well. It's almost like Roy's been singled out, isn't it? It's like, what makes Roy special? And I find it fascinating. And for, you know, to, if you wanna make a project like this, do what Neil's done, learn the art of portraiture. He's shot it on film. He isn't sitting there shooting tons and tons of digital. He's kept the whole, the, he's kept the whole process of shooting it to the minimal. One person, one lens, one camera, and he's used the use of space and light to bring it all together. And he's letting you think about Roy and where he's at, but you're seeing the background, you're seeing everything else purely through Roy because you, you sort of get attached to Roy and where he is as you're moving through it and you're seeing the transformation. This is a bit more of Lynn Tillman's writing there, so I'm missing that. And there's a different Roy, isn't it? Look at that. Now, I don't know what the jump is between that and maybe because he's got bleach blonde hair there to that, but there's one heck of a difference. And there is a bit of a gap there, so I presume there's a space between an, a, the age difference there. And there's a few shots of him having his hair cut. Still a homeboy, still reliant on his parents. I think it's just letting you make your mind up of where you think he is and why, with just some really, really great portraiture. It's definitely, I, I, some of you may disagree with what I'm saying, but there's definitely an Eggleston feel to this, definitely. And I need to look at some of Eggleston's work. It's that ordinary, it's, Alex Soft does it as well. It just captures nothing sometimes and makes it interesting. And I, and I think it's a real skill. Neil's a bit more consistent with his portrait and format. Whereas somebody like Soth will focus on different aspects and his large format. And where Eggleston is 35mm colour, he, he will cross over with his viewpoints to what he's looking at. Whereas 
this is just one person. So I've missed a few pictures out. So we get to this picture here. It's at the end. And then there's an essay by Lynn here. And then it ends. It's got lovely quality paper at the end. It's a really nice addition to your collection, especially if you want to sort of learn narrative by keeping it really simple and keeping it consistent and working hard at something and keeping it quiet all the way through rather than having to really photograph everything else. And sometimes when you're making a story, you have to photograph different elements of detail, establishing portraits, different elements to build up one narrative. But Neil hasn't done that. He's just kept it very similar format. It feels a little staged, but that's the point. He's moved everything away and he's showing you a journey of time through the body and insight and development of one guy. And that is a trick and that's why I really like this. And you can't and maybe won't get it straight away. And it's something you've got to keep looking at. And I want to look at this. One of the reasons I want to look at this is I want to learn from the way he's shooting, the way he's choreographing the individual and how he's shooting it technically. I'll put this up. I'll put the links for Neil's website, MacBooks, below. Thank you. Thank you for listening. Please share and subscribe. Get out and get this. It's, it's really a really interesting book. And thank you, Neil.